Breathing is probably the most overlooked and underrated aspect of our lives because it's always with us. So for that reason, it's very easy to take it for granted. And it's incredibly powerful as well. That's why it's so underrated. In today's culture, no one is really mindful of their breathing and most people have very very shallow and short breathing patterns but if you're mindful and aware of your breathing and breathe deeply and consciously it can be incredibly transformative so everyone knows that taking deep breaths can calm you down everyone knows that deep breathing can be very relaxing And deep breathing can even be energizing, too, because, for example, when you're working out, you have a specific breath pattern that increases your focus and increases your strength and gives you more energy. So those physical aspects of breathing are well known to pretty much everyone. And there are mechanisms and phenomena in the body that are beneficial because of breathing, like it. Breathing oxygenates your blood and oxygenates your whole body, and it calms the nervous system, and it stops the release of stress hormones and things like that. But beyond the the physical measurable uh, phenomena, there are some non-physical things going on as well. And every esoteric culture from like ancient Hinduism, to the yogic philosophy, to the Hawaiian Huna, Kahuna philosophy, and everything. They talk about how breathing draws in and circulates more life force energy. So there are a lot of terms for this, like prana is the Sanskrit term, chi is the the Chinese term, ki is the Japanese term, and mana is the Hawaiian term, or mana. So they all have terms for for this life force energy that is continuously circulating through us. And word on the street is that breathing deeply draws in more of this and allows it to circulate more harmoniously through your body. But that's kind of all speculation. You can't really prove that. And it's all kind of theory until you experience it for yourself and that's why I'm all about first-hand experience because like who really knows exactly what's going on especially with non-physical phenomena (laughs) because it's hard to measure of course so but you can undeniably feel this stuff happening when you do any breathing practices you will feel the effects you will feel ideas flowing more easily that's that's a big sign for me that I'm getting into um, kind of like poking my consciousness in other realms because I start getting ideas like crazy. It's like fishing into the realms of ideas. And also there's like a feeling of connectedness. So you get that like compassionate feeling of oneness and connectedness with everything. And with that comes like gratitude as well. I always feel an overwhelming gratitude when I do any breathing practice. And your senses get heightened as well. So it's like you were looking at life in black and white. And after these breathing practices, it's like life in high definition. Like your senses are more heightened. Your vision is clearer and more vibrant. Sounds are more crisp. It just heightens everything. And then if you really go deep into some of these practices, you will experience altered states of consciousness. Consciousness. So this is where you get into these like psychedelic states. And this is just through breathing. <laughs> yeah. So some of these practices are, um, one is pranayama breathing. And that it's kind of an umbrella term for, it consists of so many specific different breathing techniques. So there's a lot of different pranayama breathing techniques. And there's also holotropic breathing or holotropic breathing. There's kundalini breathing meditations. There's a lot of different variations of these breathing meditations. And when you go deep into these things, you, you do experience altered states of consciousness. And I've experienced this stuff firsthand. That's why 
I'm not going to just say like, oh, you're breathing in life force energy. You can actually experience this. And I have experienced it. Um, one example of this is I did a, a Merkaba activation in Costa Rica a few months ago. And this basically consisted of three rounds of really deep, intense breathing. And then after that, I was in a state that was similar to an ayahuasca journey. <laughs> it was shorter, but it was like, it was pretty, prof pretty profound. Like I reached the void. I was in, you know, total, total, um, brilliant, dazzling darkness. It was like very, very peaceful and tranquil. It wasn't like scary darkness. It was peaceful, tranquil. And I could tell that's like where everything came out of. It's like the, the infinite possibility from which everything came out of. And I also received a message, which, which I mentioned in another video. The image of a tree came to me. And the message I received was, uh, stay grounded. You already have all of the answers. So I was experiencing this just through breathing. <laughs> it was... Yeah, a, a full-on psychedelic experience through breathing. And that's really amazing. Something that's always available to, to us at all times. But we take it for granted and we're not mindful of our breathing patterns. Um, another breathing experience that I've had it was during um, a kundalini breathing meditation. I was doing this in, in Goa, India. And during one of these, I had like a past life vision. And I'm not sure if it's really a past life or it was something like what Carl Jung talks about with tapping into the collective consciousness or like uh, Rupert Sheldrake's theory of morphic fields. So I might have been tapping into the morphic field of humanity. I, I could do another whole video on that stuff, on you know the, exploring the idea of reincarnation and collective consciousness and things like that. So that's another tangent. But this vision that I got was I was an African man on a beach playing with my son. And it was beautiful and it stirred up like so much emotion within me, like joy and, and compassion. And it, it was overwhelming to experience that because it was such a, a happy moment. And it, it was just beautiful, that, that vision. It was a very short vision, but it was really profound to me. It was really beautiful. And that was, again, just through the bridge of breathing. <laughs> and actually, yesterday, I did one of my own guided meditations. It's called the, the Ohm Breathing Meditation. So it's like, it's just 12 minutes long. And I instruct you to inhale and exhale to the, the chant of Ohm. So I did this yesterday, and when I finished it, I got like the high definition experience. So every, all of my senses were so heightened, and I was just like looking at the world with childlike awe and wonder. It's really amazing what it can do. And the effects of that yesterday, it's like, um, like a small dose of psilocybin. So that's the active ingredient in what, the, what you call magic mushrooms. So it's like, it's those, those kind of feelings where you're like giddy and everything becomes more vibrant and that kind of thing. So just through, just through that, my own guided meditation for 12 minutes altered my state of consciousness and brought me into a, more of a state of presence as well. It was really amazing. And it, it really made the quality of yesterday that much better just in doing that. So I'll put a link to that meditation too. And I, I really um, recommend you to try that. that. That's a good starting point because it's a, it's a guided meditation. It's only like 12 minutes long, very easy to do, and you will get used to deep breathing. And depending on where you're at, we're, you're all going to have different experiences. Some people will just have a uh, feeling of relaxation or calmness or their mind will feel more clear and some people will have full-on altered states of consciousness, full-on psychedelic experiences. So breathing is an incredibly powerful tool. Don't forget that. So be mindful of your breathing all day, every day.
Okay, not just during yoga, not just during meditations. Breathe deeply all the time because that's going to continuously help you and to keep you relaxed and to circulate that life force energy through you. And I really recommend trying some of these breathing practices as well because they are amazing. You will achieve altered states of consciousness. You will achieve presence. You will clear your mind. The benefits are endless, and the bridge to that is just breathing. <laughs> How cool is that? It's, it's really amazing. So, yeah, breathe deeply. <laughs> peace, peace, much love, and one love, baby. <laughs>